Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am doing a updated summer everyday makeup look. So what I do every day, my makeup. Um, but yeah, so this is it. Just trying to get some good light in. My house has the worst light in. Or if I do good light and you can see my walls that aren't finished. Apologies if you can hear YouTube in the background, Ollie's watching it. Right, to start off, um, my skin's already cleansed, moisturised, the whole palaver. So I'm going to go in, I've been loving this LC Pale Radiance Primer again. Um, it's definitely been my favourite, favourite, favourite primer to use. So I'm actually just going to take like a tiny blob. Tiny little blob on my fingers, because it's the easiest way to do it. Excuse the light in. I'm filming in the nursery because Ollie's watching TV. I was going to film in there, but he's watching TV, so I can't. Um, and now, once because I've got a bit of a tan, you can see like my face is a bit of a different colour. While I've got a tan, I use the Estee Lauder double wear. I don't know what I'm going to do when this bottle runs out because I'm pretty sure they've changed the formula and it's not as good as what it used to be. And I've been switching it up. Some some days, depends on feeling, I'll use a beauty blender and some days I will use a stippling brush. But today I'm going to use a beauty blender. And don't forget your ears. I'm trying out this new thing of filming in the daytime because I have a really bad habit of filming at night. It's got pretty good coverage. I mean, I have got really bad acne at the, well, not really bad, but I don't normally have any acne. And then for concealer, there we go. So I use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer um, because I find it is a really, really lightweight concealer and it's really brightening. Charlie's currently in the baby. We're in the nursery, so he's in. He's in the baby's cot. Um, and I literally put a bit under my eyes. Chin, lip, nose. No, this has been my go-to summer look because I love the summer. When it's summer outside, I will wear makeup. Well, be careful. I'm going to use the blender again. Not really the look I'm going for today, but... Then to set my under eye, I use, this is a bit high maintenance, but I do use two different powders to set my under eye versus setting my, the rest of my face. So I use the Laura Mercier, this is just the loose, translucent setting powder for my under eye. And I use this to set my under eye. And my eyelid. And then for the rest of the face, I just use a big, bigger fluffy brush and the Maybelline Fit Me powder. This is in translucent as well. And I just put the tiniest amount. And some days I will go in with like just a brownie eyeshadow. But a lot of the time I won't, so now I'll just curl my eyelashes and put on some mascara. And then I'm just using a little Benefit Roller Lash. And then yeah, most days this is literally it for us. And then eyebrows, I just use the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper and just literally sling it through my eyebrow. 
So I've done pretty much my face. I'm going to bronze and I've been loving the BH, can't really see it, it's reflective. The BH Cosmetics Brilliant Bronzer and this is in Golden Gal. Looks really dark but when you actually put it on it's not that dark. When I'm not, when I'm really, really pale I just use Hula Light. Um, so yeah, and then take it. Mum! Yes, honey? Come make some eggs. Uh, no, finished. And then once I've done it on my cheekbones, I will bring it up on my I'm, temple. I'm, I'm be a tiger. You'll be a tiger? Yeah, And then I will also put it on my forehead. I won't put too much on my forehead because it's a big hug. And then for blusher, that's a nice look. For blusher, I use the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, the one that everyone uses. And I've been changing them over putting blush on rather than just put it on my apples first. I start and put it up here first. So I put the most sort of up here and blend it into my bronzer and then bring it down to the apple of my cheek. What is this? Highlighter. For your hair? No. Why? For your body. And then for highlighter, I've been using the Wet n Wild because you can get Wet n Wild in Beauty Bay. Oh, why shiny? It's lovely. And I use this in. This one is in. What are you in? Blossom Glow. It's like a pinky, silvery one. Try to be careful because you can knock my mirror off my hand. I mm. actually just put this. Where well, you'd normally put highlighter. Top of my cheekbone. Bring it down. Uh, sort of curve it up into my eyebrow. I see this it. is really nice because it, it does give a nice glow, but it's what, subtle glow. Ooh, so and then oh, for lips, oh, I have been oh, using this is L'Oreal Paris Color Rich Matte oh, in Mocha oh, Cheek. Mocha oh, Cheek, oh, Mocha Cheek. I don't, oh, don't know what it is. But it's like just a really nice nudie, yeah. nudie colour. And then I've been loving as well recently putting a lip gloss on top. So this is a Bare Minerals lip gloss. This is, in, this is Forbidden Gloss in Brilliant. This lipstick looks really dark on this camera but it's not mm. like that and then to finish it all off I just set my face with I've been using Urban Decay all night setting spray which I'm nearly out of <laughs> I'll turn it off and then that's it. This is literally my lighting's really, really bad. This is my everyday, everyday sort of summary look. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you learnt some tips. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're one of the old ones that used to watch it a year ago. Sorry, I've been off, but now I'm back. So thank you for coming back. Um, that's pretty much it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.